Welcome to Doublers Add-on Tutorials. Today I gonna demonstrate Instagram feed. In the Instagram feed, first of all, you have two options. One is by username, in which if you select the by username, you need not to set up access token. That means if you go with the username, it will get the all the images just by username that means instagram will not allow lots of requests using this method so if you have a valid access token then we prefer to go with that option if you don't you can go with the by username but keep in mind instagram have some limitations on that method so as you can see the loader before few seconds that is the time taken by the username method as well as in the access token there is few moments as all the data are coming from the instagram so now let's go with the username for now so you just need to copy paste the username which is the post fix of instagram.com url so you can find out your username easily or anyone's username Generally, we put with the at the rate, but here you need not to put at the rate, you just need to paste your username. Now, let's go there, and there is the two different styles for the layout. I cannot show you by changing the style because Instagram feed isn't easily available, it takes time, and every time we change the style or any option, it will take a lot of time to get the feed from Instagram. So you need to keep that in mind while designing this widget because it will take lots of time in the backend as all the fields are coming from Instagram and many times your field might be shown as an error. It might be blocked by the Instagram if they consider everything. See, you can see the example over here. It's a fail to load resources. So many times Instagram will show this kind of error in the backend because it's like lots of uh, it's loading and loading. So here are the two different styles you can find out from our demo. You can see the style one with the four column. You can see the style two with the six column and other options. So there is the maximum visible images options. So you can select what number you want. Then there is a general setting in which you can select the columns in the desktop, tablet and in the mobile. Then you will have an option for the grid layout. If you enable these four square image that will make your images in a grid layout and in a square rotation. Then you will have option for the image dimensions which you can select as per your needs because the smaller the image you will make it will take less time to load or that you can decide based on your grid layout like if you have bigger images then you can select the big size depends on you then there is the option for the masonry layout in the masonry layout you just need to enable it and all the images will be based on the masonry layout but keep in mind when you enable the masonry layout you have to disable the grid layout then there is the option for the carousels in which you will have the carousel and all of its options then you have the option for the link and content so you can enable the pop-up if you want if you don't want you can turn it off if you have enabled the pop-up you will have option for the icon which will be available on hover then there is availability of the caption we also have that caption count like for the 50 letters or something like that you can select as per your needs and as per your layout you also enable disable the like and comments you can enable or disable link and you can select if you want that on a new window or on the same window let's go to the next one so here we will find out the carousel options uh, in the style tab you will have instagram feed style in which you can adjust the padding 
border type, border radius, the box shadow in the normal and hover condition. I must tell you, you need to manage everything quickly, either it will go on away because it's all loading from the Instagram username. Then you will have the like and comment styles in the typography and the color, the pop of image size, radius, caption styles, color. You can enable the load more as well. If you enable it, you will have the all the padding, margin, alignment, typography, text color, background color, border type, box shadow and everything. Then there is the option for the background overlay. That means on your hover, you can adjust the color, the padding. Then in the carousel options, you will have two type of slider mode horizontal and vertical you can adjust slider speed you can adjust the columns next previous sliding slide padding draggable infinite mode pause on hover all the options are available for enable disable you also can adjust the auto play speed you can adjust dots arrow center mode currently you can see the center mode over here so or the middle one will be highlighted and other will be with the opacity even you can change it to scale or shadow you can adjust all those values over here you can also adjust the number of rows then there is the extra options in which you can adjust the messy columns like this then there is the on scroll view animation we already have made separate video for this you can check it out on our channel now let's check out if you want to select the access token method so if you want to select the access token method you need to go to the get access token once you go here you need to go press generate instagram access token you can see the access token from there you also need to get user id and the client id Client ID is the optional. You can get your field just by user ID and the access token. Now you can go into your Instagram username over here and find your Instagram ID. And you just need to put that over here. So these are the options are available in the Instagram widget of the plus add-ons. If you have any other questions, write in the comment box below or you can reach us by our support forum. Thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites. And don't forget to subscribe us. See you in the next video.